This video is about how to make maps of polygons in R that present information about uh, the value of those polygons. A common type of vector data is data with multiple polygons, each of which that have associated properties with them. And so for an example of this, uh, we have some data from Harvard Forest that describes the kinds of soils uh, at different places in the forest. So let's load that up and take a look at it. This is vector data. So we'll go ahead and continue to work with the SF package, which we'll load using library SF. And then we'll go ahead and call it uh, harv underscore soils, since it's soils for the Harvard forest data. And we'll assign it the output of that stread function that we use for reading in vector data into this SF or simple features format. And the data is in data slash forward slash harv forward slash harv underscore soils. And it's a shape file. And so we'll put the dot SHP here. And if we run this line, uh, we can see that it's polygon data. There are 246 features, so that's 246 different polygons. Uh, and each of those polygons has five fields or five columns of information associated with it. And this is stored in uh, this simple features object that we get out of the SF package. And if we look at uh, this object, we'll see that it's a table uh, and has information on the soil type, uh, a couple of different soil classifications, and uh, what kind, how well drained the soil is, uh, and then uh, the geometry for the polygon or the spatial component of this object. And we can include the information uh, from these columns in the same way that we can do it for other ggplot maps and graphs. And so let's start by making a map of our polygons uh, that's colored uh, by the soil type, that type column at the beginning. And so uh, we can do ggplot plus, and then we're still using our geome SF because it's our simple features geome. And then we want data to be equal to harv underscore soils. And in order to change the color, we need to do that in the same basic way that we did it for changing the color of points. And so that's creating a mapping because we need to tell it which portion of this tabular data object to use, which column to use for color. And then we do that using the AES function to make an aesthetic. And then we want to use, we want to set the fill here because we're talking about the color inside of the polygon. So the inside of shapes is fill. And then, then that's going to be equal to type underscore. And then I get an error because I didn't load ggplot at the beginning. And so I'll just go back and load the ggplot2 package uh, and then run this line again. And what we'll get out uh, is this nice map of the soils at the site. Uh, we can see that each different region is made up of a single polygon. So here's one polygon and it's got a value associated with it that we can look up in this color map. And so these are uh, CF soils here and here. These are BF soils in the different orange regions and so on. Like with other things in ggplot mapping, we can change the colors if we want to. 
uh, and I'm going to actually switch over to that Veritas set of color ramps that we've been using for other things. Uh, so we're going to add a plus at the end, and then scale underscore fill, because we're coloring the fill. So this so far is the same as what we did for rasters, Veritas. But now, because these are discrete data, it's just a soil type, it's not a continuous measure like elevation, we use the D at the end for discrete. And so uh, now we have uh, this different set of categorical or discrete color scales uh, showing us uh, our different soil types. We can <clears throat> also plot the different soils or different uh, kinds of polygon features on different subplots to help us focus on where different individual soil types occur. And we do that using facet wrap the same way that we created subplots when we were just plotting tabular data. And so uh, we would do this by doing ggplot plus, and then the same basic geome. So we want geome sf and data is equal to harv underscore soils. But now we'll add a plus and then facet underscore wrap. And then remember we have a tilde here and then the thing that we wanna to use to break the plots up into different facets. And so we can type type underscore here. And now what we'll get out is a different subplot for each soil type. And we can see that, you know, in the middle of the site, we tend to have a lot of this BF soil. It takes up a lot of, of the soil regions. We've got a little chunk of, of GX up in the northeast, and then some of these prominent but more scattered soil types that we can see down at the bottom. So that's the basic idea behind how we use the fields associated with polygons to make maps that are either colored based on the values in those fields or split the map out to have a separate subplot uh, for each different value that's present in one of the fields. And we do that uh, in the same basic way that we do this for regular ggplot objects. We set a mapping uh, with fill to change the color of different regions, and we use facet wrap with the name of the appropriate column to split things out into different subplots. It's vector data, so we'll continue to use the package. Working in the cloud, it's almost like it's a miracle. Everything just works. <laughs> we're not gonna make it. No, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it through the fall.